You want to make a modded Minecraft server in 1.21.5, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. But first, I do want to mention, this server is going to require a pretty good computer in order to run it. Running a Minecraft server without mods requires a good computer. Running a modded Minecraft server takes that to the next level. You're also going to need a pretty good internet connection. That's because it's hosted on your own internet connection. And that also means that anyone who can join this server, gets the IP address to this server, can figure out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates, as well as DDoS you hit your offline, meaning the server we're making in this video is only for your friends, your family, people you trust. But what if you don't want to have to worry about all that? You don't want to have to worry about security, all that stuff. You don't want to have to worry about having good internet. Or what if you just don't have a good computer and you still want to play modded Minecraft with your friends on your own server? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, to start your own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server where you don't have to worry about security or anything like that. And you don't even have to worry about hardware because it's hosted on Simple Game Hosting hardware. You can get your modded server up and running in minutes, add any mods that you want to your server, and there's even one click installation of mod packs, meaning you don't have to worry about adding individual mods or anything like that. If you want to play a mod pack, you can just click install and it adds it to the server. You install the mod pack locally and join the server. It's that easy to get things up and running with your server at Civil Game Hosting. Plus, there's expert live chat support there because it's not uncommon you'll add 20 mods to a server, go to start the server, and it won't work. And when that happens, it can be really frustrating, but don't worry. That's why live chat support is there to help you fix those issues, get your server online and running. That way you don't have to worry about it and you can get in game and start playing Minecraft with your friends with mods as quickly and easily as possible. So stop struggling to host a mod in Minecraft server. Start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash simple. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you don't want to host a server with simple game hosting? You decide that you want to host a server yourself on your own computer. You've got a good computer. You've got good internet, all that stuff. Let's get going. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting NeoForge. One may ask why we have this link. Well, that's because anyone who joins your server is going to need NeoForge installed. So go ahead and send them this guide, have them get NeoForge installed, and we can download the NeoForge server files from here as well. NeoForge, by the way, is the model loader we're going to be using. If you want a Fabric or Forge server, those are conveniently linked in the description down below with their own dedicated guides. Once you're here, go ahead and click Download NeoForge to go to the official NeoForge download page. On this page, Minecraft 1.21.5 is already selected, so you can go ahead and click on the latest installer here for NeoForge. It will open up where you need to keep or save the file. We're going to go ahead and save it there. And now we want to go ahead and minimize our browser. And now on our desktop, we want to right click and create a new folder. We're going to title this our modded Minecraft 1.21.5 server because this is where all of our server files are going to be held in this folder here. We then want to move that NeoForge installer we downloaded to our desktop. So right here it is in my downloads folder. I'm going to move that to the desktop right like so. Now we want to go ahead and right click on NeoForge, click on open with and click Java. But what if you don't have Java there? Well, if you don't have Java there, you need to go get it because Java is required for modded Minecraft servers. It's required for mods in general. It's definitely required for modded Minecraft servers. So we have this in-depth guide on how to get Java 21. It'll also help if you had Java and you tried to open that and it didn't work. You need this specific version, Java 21. You probably have an older version of Java. This goes over everything you need to know to get things up and running when it comes to getting Java 21. You'll then want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files like NeoForge and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. We can now minimize our browser and open up that NeoForge installer. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and actually the first thing we want to do is install the client. Like I said, anyone who joins this server, including yourself, needs the client installed. So we'll click install client, click proceed, and let that finish. Once it's finished, click OK, NeoForge will close, and open it again. Open that NeoForge installer, the same one we just used, open that file again, and then we want to click on install server. This big red box will appear, go ahead and click the three dots in it, and navigate to the folder you created on your desktop. So for me, that's going to be this modded Minecraft 1.21.5 server folder here. Click select. That's now selected, the red box disappears, and we can click proceed. It'll now install everything we need to get NeoForge, our NeoForge server up and running into that modded Minecraft folder. So everything's being installed now, being added to that, all that stuff. And then once it's finally finished, it will say it successfully added everything there. And you can actually see there's folders or there's files in there. They appeared. Successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed NeoForge. Click OK. You can delete the NeoForge installer. Open up the modded Minecraft folder you created, and there's some files here. Now, these should have the file name extensions on them, and if they don't, it's because you need to turn that on. It's very easy to do. Just click on View here, and then make sure you come down to Show, and then turn on file name extensions. As you can see, if I don't have those turned on, it's not going to be there, but if we go to View, Show, 
file name extensions, it will show the dots there. The dot bat in this case is what we're looking for. The file type is a Windows batch file. Go ahead and double click on that run.bat file and it's going to try to start your server. This is going to fail. As you can see, press any key to continue. But we now have an eola.txt file. Open that up with Notepad, and then assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do, change EULA equals false here to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and now we can close out of this because, well, we've now agreed to the Minecraft EULA. Now, all you've got to do to start your modded Minecraft server is double-click on this run.bat file. When you do, your server will go ahead and start. And at this point, you can join the server. Your friends can't, though, but let's go ahead and join just to make sure. We're going to cover adding mods. We're going to do all that. But let's make sure that we can join this server right now with no mods, anything like that installed, and without your friends being able to join. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using Neoforge. Like I said, anyone who joins this server needs to have Neoforge installed. They're also going to need any mods that are on the server installed locally. We'll cover that a little bit more later. But right now, we're just going to be launching Minecraft with Neoforge. Let me go ahead and find it. There it is, Neoforge. We can go ahead and play Minecraft using that and then join the server. We're going to be, again, the only people at this moment who can join the server, but it's worth testing because if you lag right now, you have issues right now, you're definitely going to have issues later on when your friends go to join. So let's go ahead and get Minecraft open and then go to multiplayer, click proceed if you need to, and then go ahead and click the add server button. You can name this anything you want, but I'm going to name it Local Connection because you're the only person that can join this server using this IP, meaning it's a local to you. For the server address, we're going to name this Local Host. That's what the server address, the IP address is going to be for you to join this server. Again, you're the only person that can use the Local Host IP to join the server, but we're going to go ahead and type that in, Local Host, right like so. Click Done, and then after a few seconds, the server will resolve. Boom, and we can double click to join it. We'll see us join in here on the left hand side. There it is. Now, you can see I've actually gotten an issue. This is because I have, if we open my mods folder, Waystones installed locally. It's for Neoforge. It should work, but it's installed, so I need to delete this and then restart Minecraft. That's a good thing that that happens because you can see how kind of iffy <laughs> servers can be when it comes to Minecraft mods. If the mods locally are different from the mods that are on the server even, which is what happened there, it will break things. So we can go ahead and play Minecraft now using Neoforge and we'll be able to join. Let me show you once we're on the main menu. We can see here on the main menu, by the way, that nothing is now in the mods folder. And if we try to join that server with this local connection here, it will now let us on in game. You won't get this error and all of that stuff. There we go. Successfully joined the loading terrain. Boom. That's how kind of iffy this can be. If you accidentally had mods installed there, which is all that was. I had mods installed from a previous video I'd done. And because of that, we couldn't join this server. We had to delete them and then we were able to join. Crazy how things like that can happen. But that being said, the server is now online. I would suggest running around, making sure you're not lagging, fly around a bit. If you are lagging, you're going to have to go with the third-party host like Simple Game Hosting. Again, first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Because you're lagging with just you online, as soon as your friends join the server, it's going to get even worse. But if you're fine now, as you can see, I'm not lagging, anything like that. Maybe I am a little bit through the video, but like without the recording, I'm 100% not lagging. We're good to go. I could host friends on this if I wanted to. How do I do that? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to need to port forward. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't like when we do 30-minute long videos anymore where I go through port forwarding and all that stuff. So, link in the description down below. We have a link to to this. This is our in-depth guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server, including modded servers. It goes through everything you need to know and it will get things up and running, allowing your friends to join your server using your public IP. That sounds kind of crazy, but don't worry. This is all covered in this video. It's both text format and video format, meaning you can port forward no matter what. And because we had to separate these, I was able to go even more in-depth than I normally used to when I would do everything in one video. So go check this out. It's definitely worth checking out because it's going to get your friends to be able to join. But quickly, how do you add mods? Well, we're going to need to download mods from Modern or CurseForge. Those are the most trusted places to download mods. When downloading mods, make sure you're filtering for, for example, in our case, 1.21.5 and NeoForge. These are the mods you could install on your server. Same thing on CurseForge. You want to search for NeoForge 1.21.5. Now, I always use Waystones for these because if we go to Files here and download... Waystones, go to the NeoForge version. If you were to download this and try to install it, it wouldn't work. And that's because if we go and click on the file like I just did and go to related projects, we will see that BOM is a required dependency. 99% of the time when you install a Minecraft mod and it's not working, it's because you missed a required dependency like BOM. So let's go ahead and download this here for NeoForge. After a few seconds, the download will begin. I also want to show you how to see dependencies on Modrinth. So let's go ahead and do that while this is downloading in the background. We'll go ahead and actually search for Waystones 
over here as well. We can click on it and we can find the required dependencies by going to versions, searching for that 1.21.5 NeoForge version. And there it is, there is Bomb. Let's go ahead and download it. Let's get Bomb from Modern Theory. And then once we've got the uh, version of Bomb we need downloaded, we can add these to our server. We're also going to need to install them locally though, so keep that in mind. Lastly, I do want to mention that we have different stuff in the description down below. This may be needed if your friends can't join after port forwarding. Don't worry too much about that with this video. It's also linked in the other one. We also have how to fix a broken Minecraft server linked down below. This includes mods. It's great and worth checking out as well. But nevertheless, let's go ahead, close out of this and close out of Minecraft completely. We also want to stop our server. To properly stop your server, come over here in the console and type stop. No slash or anything like that. Just stop, hit enter, and it will shut the server down, making sure everything is saved. Now we want to find the mods we downloaded, which they're in my downloads folder, and we want to move these to two places. We want to first add them in our modded Minecraft server folder into the mods folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and just select these and then move them over. And then we want to copy them. So I'm going to select them, right click, copy. And then we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Like I said, any mods that you have on your server also need to be installed in the Minecraft launcher as well. Otherwise they won't work. And the mods that you have installed in the Minecraft launcher must match the mods on the server, which is what we ran into earlier. So if we go to installations here, we'll click on the folder that appears on NeoForge there. And we can add these into the mods folder. Just going to paste them in right like so. So now they're in our .minecraft mods folder. And if we go to our Minecraft server, they're in the mods folder on the server as well. Let's go ahead and start our server with the run.bat file. And then we'll also go ahead and play Minecraft once everything is loaded. We'll see you to join the server and show you that Waystones is working. That way you know that we didn't do any trickery here and that's how you add mods to the server. But at this point, it's time to go port forward if you want your friends to join. So here we are in game. We go to multiplayer, of course, and we can join this local connection here. Again, your friends will join you using your public IP after port forwarding. But when we get in game, I'm going to quickly come over here to the console and opt myself by typing opt and then our username, hitting enter, and that'll allow me to go into creative, which will then allow me to get a few waystones here because, well, we just want to show you that these are working. So we can place one down here, do that, place one over here, do that, and then we'll place one right over here next to the frog. So now if I right click on this, I can easily teleport between these waystones, proving that the mod is in fact working on the server. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your modded Minecraft server. In my opinion, playing modded Minecraft with your friends is the best way to enjoy modded Minecraft. I will see you in the next video and I am out. Peace.